What's up, healthy gang? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tierra Robinson, but I go by the name T, hence the YouTube name, Health T Women. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Did y'all catch that? Did y'all get that metaphor? Because your girl got sense. I don't want y'all out here thinking I ain't got no sense. I don't know how to spell. Your girl got sense. <laughs> but nah, um, let me stop playing so y'all can watch this video to the fullest. Don't click off because I need them views. I'm trying to make some dollars, okay? So um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about intermittent fasting, just breaking down what intermittent fasting is so you guys can have a better idea of what it is and what it does for you. But before I get into that, Now that that's over with, before we talk about intermittent fasting, let's talk about fasting. I'm going to put um, a picture here of the benefits of fasting, and I'm going to let you guys read that. Intermittent fasting and fasting in general is an amazing thing. You know, God created our bodies to heal itself. And so intermittent fasting is more than just losing weight. It has so many health benefits for our body. And so we're going to get into that right now. This is my channel where I explain my personal experience with intermittent fasting and what it has done for me and how it has changed my life. Everybody is different and I'm going to be here sharing with you guys what I did to lose up to 30 pounds or more in just a couple of months. With intermittent fasting, you just eat less frequently. That doesn't mean that you eat less amounts. You just eat less frequently throughout the day. And it's a set schedule of when you eat and when you fast. So it's not about what you eat, it's about when you eat. So that is a key factor of what intermittent fasting really is. Although I recommend to have a low carb, high fat diet. Keep that in mind that you can do any kind of diet that you want and incorporate intermittent fasting in it and it will work well together. Intermittent fasting is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. So fasting and intermittent fasting is not just to lose weight. It has so many health benefits. With my personal experience, I was diagnosed with diabetes and I had a eating disorder and I had a lot of things going on with me and I'm gonna bring my God up when he needs to be brought up so I take no credit for my lifestyle change I give all glory to God yes I have willpower to do it but he gave me that willpower to do it and I'm here to share with you guys and tell you guys that you are able to do it as well I wrote down a few notes on my phone because I want this video to be very informational and I don't want to leave anything out so I'm going to be reading through my phone to you guys and y'all gonna have to take this information how you will. So cutting carbs and increasing dietary fats with meats, veggies, and nuts can improve health in a number of ways including promoting weight loss. Yes, that is going to happen. Weight loss is going to happen whether you want to or not, it's gonna happen. And decreases body fat. Studies determine that low carb, high fat diets also benefit many health conditions, including diabetes, and I can witness to that because it cured me from diabetes, heart disease, and many other diseases. So eating a diet that is high in protein and fats tend to make a person feel full faster than they would if they consume only carbohydrates, which is pure sugar. I have a list here of foods to avoid white pasta, white rice, breads, and rolls, nope. baked goods, such minute. as pastries. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Them cakes, them muffins, them graham crackers, the candy, all of it. Chips, drinks you? with added sugars, such as energy drinks, soft drinks, and fruit juices. So. 
I just drink water or splash water. So drinking these sugary drinks, you know, any drink that is processed is full of sugar. So it's best to stay away from that. Um, and the list goes on fried foods. Okay, sugary heavy coffees. Uh-oh, we're gonna, we gonna get a few folks with that one. Diet drinks, low fat foods, as they may contain extra sugar. I hate everything that says low fat because it's not nutrients to your body. So everything that you see that says low fat, stay away from it. Fat does not make you fat. Carbs and sugar makes you fat. Some sources of fat and protein, I have a list here for a LCHF diet, which is a low carb, high fat diet. So we have the meats, the meats that I eat and the meats that is highly recommended to eat when you are doing intermittent fasting is chicken and turkey. We have fish such as salmon, tuna, cod, cheese, butter, avocado, oil such as olive oil, coconut oil, flaxseed oil, avocado oil, nuts such as peanuts, almonds, walnuts, cashews, seeds such as sunflowers, chai and flaxseed, eggs, and also I have a list of fruits. Like I said, I, I wrote this on my phone so you guys can have this information and I don't wanna miss anything out because I tend to do that. So the fruits, some fruits and most non-starchy vegetables are low in carbohydrates, some fruits can be unhealthy if you choose to eat them too much, okay? So we need to incorporate more veggies, more meats, and more nuts in our diet, more so than fruits. And these are the fruits and vegetables that we should eat, which is spinach and other dark leafy greens, berries such as strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, broccoli, cauliflower, I love cauliflower, I love cauliflower rice asparagus i love asparagus brussels sprouts carrots um, small portions of watermelon any kind of melon peaches and apples and grapes because they contain a lot of sugar but they do have a lot of antioxidants which is good for the body there are different schedules and times that you can do of intermittent fasting but what we will be discussing is what i do which is, which is the 16-8 so I eat between an eight hour window and I fast between a 16 hour window. For example, I eat breakfast at 1045 and I drink water throughout the day. If I feel like I want a little flavor in my mouth, I'll drink splash water and splash water. It doesn't have any carb, any sugar, anything like that. The only thing it consists of is sodium, which is 50 milligrams of sodium per one bottle. And I just sip on that one bottle throughout the evening or throughout the afternoon if I'm feeling like I want to snack or whatever that normally satisfies, satisfies me and it does not break my fast. So that's another plus, you know, I love splash water and I love to use that when I feel hungry. Listen to your body because it's hard to just jump into doing something like that. I actually went on a 30 night 30 day and night fast because I used to have an addiction to food and I was battling depression, anxiety. I was going through a lot and food was my comfort. So to break that addiction to food, God had to do that. He had to handle me in that era and he gave me self-control because God gives us the spirit of power, love and self-discipline, self-control. So, and he gave me that during that time of fasting that I did. And I did a very informational video on it. It will be linked down in the description below. So you may watch it whenever you have time. So if you absolutely cannot go without having a snack in the middle of the day, instead of eating only twice during that eight hour window, you can eat three times a day. But make sure that when you eat three times a day, that it's between that eight hour window. So say for instance, split your meals two hours and 30 minutes apart. So say for instance that you eat breakfast at 1045 through 1145. You will eat again at 245 through 345. And then you'll eat again at 645 through 745. So if you wanna have three meals a day, just kind of put it in between that eight hour window. So that way you can still have 16 hours of fasting. 
it's not easy in the beginning, but your body will adjust to it. When I first started intermittent fasting, I wasn't hungry. Like I had to force my, kind of force myself to eat, to train my body to eat at a certain time. And I tell you within a week or so, my body began to be hungry at 1045. And, and then also my hunger went away throughout the day and it'll be hungry again at 645 when I feed it. So our bodies are very amazing. God has made our bodies so amazing. And so we can train our bodies how we want it to be. So in the beginning, yes, it will be a little hard to try to, try to get used to your schedule, but if you keep being consistent, it will become easier and easier. In the beginning, you may have some withdrawals because of a drastic change that you have, you know, made in your life to just go from snacking all day, eating high carb, high sugar, low fats. Um, you're going, your body is going to have withdrawals, but you have to keep pushing. Your body is going to get used to it. That's your body talking to you. So when you feel pain, when you feel discomfort, that means that something is going on in your body and your body is trying to fix it. So don't quit, don't let up, don't stop, keep pushing because anything that is easy ain't worth nothing. For a healthy, well-nourished person with no health issues, intermittent fasting offers very few side effects. As an unhealthy person, you may have more symptoms as your body fights against the disease that you may have or the fat that it's trying to eat. These are the side effects, so no one will be alarmed when you start your intermittent fasting journey. The side effects, now this varies per person. So when a person suddenly cuts down on the number of carbohydrates they eat, they may experience some temporary side effects. Temporary, y'all hear that? Temp, okay, temporary. Weakness or fatigue, muscle cramp, headache, constipation or diarrhea, skin rash, bad breath. Whether a healthy or an unhealthy person fast or go a certain amount of time without eating, the body has to adjust to it. So that's just something we all have to get used to. As the body adjusts to these dietary changes, these effects should go away. So pain equals progress and I did experience those things before I went on my 30-day long journey with God um, to break the addiction that I had I actually started intermittent fasting and it worked for me but the thing is I cut cold turkey I just went from eating so bad eating all day to just eating healthy and eating less frequently I did not eat bread I did not eat uh, chips and uh, carbs and sugar and I'll insert a picture of me and I lost um, I believe 24 or 30 pounds in just one month's frame so intermittent fasting does work and I, I don't take credit for all of my weight loss yes a tremendous amount of my weight has been lost during that time that I was fasting but I kept on doing my intermittent fasting along with working out and eating healthy and I lost over 30 pounds in just maybe three to four months so being consistent with intermittent fasting working out and incorporating exercise and water you're gonna lose the weight so this is what I am here to do to share with you guys my personal experience with intermittent fasting as you can see with the picture, I lost a lot of pounds, especially in my gut uh, with intermittent fasting. So I also incorporated 10,000 to 15,000 steps a day when I was doing that. I didn't do like hard workout, you know, I just walked every day. I kept my, kept my body moving, I drank my water. I ate more in a smaller time frame. I only incorporated whole foods. With intermittent fasting, you cannot be lazy. You're gonna have to cook. You cannot go out to eat all the time, but I do have a list of places that I do go out to eat, but I don't eat there all the time, but I have places that I make healthy for myself, such as Chipotle, Subway, Slim Chicken, what else do I eat? I love Muya Burger. Oh my gosh, I love Muya Burger. And so I'm gonna do a video, if you guys are interested in that, I could do a video of what I eat. If you want a video of where I go to eat when I am craving fast food, but to keep it healthy and to keep it high fat, low carb, I can do a video on that to show you guys, you know, what I get on the menu and all of the above. So I'm gonna be real with you guys. When you are trying to lose weight cheat days are not 
what's best because you're trying to get somewhere and it's like it, each each cheat day that you do you're setting yourself back so I didn't allow myself to have many cheat days I just don't recommend cheat days when you are trying to reach a certain goal when you get to your goal girl cheat all you want on your food now I ain't, get out of my house we ain't talking about on, on your man or your woman okay we talking about get on the food house, so if you want to cheat person. on the food <laughs> when you reach your goal you can do so so with intermittent fasting your mind has to be made up it has to be something that you have to do you cannot pay anyone to do it for you it's all about self-control and intermittent fasting what makes it so great to me is just it just helps you to have more control over your body, over when you're gonna feed it. You're not gonna listen to what your stomach says. You're gonna listen to what your mind says. Like, I don't need to be eating right now. You know, you have more control over your body and it just helps overall with life, you know, to have self-control over things, over your uh, the way you act, your attitude. It just helps you to have self-control overall in, in your day-to-day -day life. So to sum it up, what I would recommend that you do, again, we are all different. We have different bodies. We are not the same, but this is what I do. And this is what I recommend um, for you guys is to eat a high fat, low carb diet, intermittent fast, 16, eight, walk at least 10,000 to 15,000 steps a day, drink three bottles, or more of water. You need water to flush out your system, to make sure that you will not become constipated because if you don't have enough liquid and, and enough fluid in your body, you know, your, your poop can harden and it's not gonna be as smooth to come out. You become constipated and the more poop, the more weight that you drop. So, and also make sure you're eating a lot of fiber in your diet. Um, and um, make sure that you're going to bed because if you don't go to bed on time, then you know lack of sleep can cause you to gain weight as well. So what I would recommend that you do is do the 16-8 intermittent fasting to have major results. You can do the others if you want, but the 16-8 is the most beneficial, eating only twice a day in the morning and at dinner with no snack time. Keep your body moving. Just say no to, just say no to snacking. Snacking is just not ideal. Snacking is just, out. I know it's hard. I know, I know, I know it's hard, but snacking has to not, it, it cannot be, it just can't be in your diet. It can't be in your lifestyle. Also, if you cannot intermittent fast seven days out of the week, it's okay to do five days, because I do that. Sometimes, you know, because sometimes my body just so trained, I intermittent fast seven days a week, but only five days out of the week, I intermittent fast. And then on the weekends, I'll maybe have a cheat day. I also do 24 hour fast, 48 hour fast for the Lord spiritually, for my personal relationship with Christ that has nothing to do with my weight loss um, or for me to want to lose weight. God tells us to fast often. So I do incorporate um, fasting 24 hours every other week. So um, but if you don't, you don't have to do that. That's what I do, but you will reap the same benefits if you do five days out of the week of intermittent fasting, and then you can have two days to where you can have snack days, you know, snack weekends or, or something. If you want to stay up late with your hubby or with your boyfriend. With your boyfriend. Wait a minute with your hubby or with your children um, you can have a little snack or whatever on the weekends if that's what you want to do if you have if you have control over it make sure that you have control over it then i recommend that you do it if you don't have control then i don't recommend that you do it so i'm going to insert some pictures of my watch, of what I do. Sometimes I over exceed 10,000 steps. Sometimes I underachieve it. And then if I underachieve it, I make up for it the next day. Sometimes I've gotten 13,000 steps or 14, you know. So if you don't reach your goal, just try your best, get to moving. And you will not reach your goal if you're getting up walking at 11 o'clock. You gonna have to be an early bird to get them steps in. You cannot get 10,000 steps if you waking up at 11, 12 o'clock and you're sitting around being a couch potato, that's not gonna work. So you're gonna have to get up, get your body moving, and it's more healthy for your heart. Always remember that consistency 
is key. So make sure you are being consistent in this journey. Do not say that it does not work if you have not at least done it for a good six to eight months, okay? Those are all the tips that I have today. If you have any tips or experiences with intermittent fasting, be sure to comment down below. I would love to see your point of view of intermittent fasting and what you do. Also, if you have any healthy tips or recipes, you can comment that as well down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next video, I'm going to be doing a intermittent fasting, what I eat in the day video to show you guys what I eat, the tutorial of how to make it, the recipe, all of that jazz. So be sure to look out for that video and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.